A Melbourne surgeon has saved the lives and limbs of two cancer patients using some mind-boggling bionic technology. The top doctor has removed their tumorous pelvic bones and then replaced them with 3D printed body parts. Medical reporter Emily Rice has this exclusive report. This is 73-year-old pelvic cancer patient Janice going in for the final stage of a radical bionic procedure that her surgeon, Claudia de Bella, has only performed once before. I was quite positive about it. Janice had a huge tumour in her pelvis, which the leading St Vincent's private hospital surgeon removed in an earlier operation, leaving a large area in her pelvis devoid of bone not many options unfortunately so the main thing would be typically is an amputation. But Claudia de Bella has saved Janice's hip and leg. She has used 3D printing technology to make a new bionic bone, a pelvic prosthesis to custom fit perfectly in her patient's hip. First thing she said is well this is doable and we just looked at each other and thought wow. This is uh, biomedicine um, to the nth degree. In the marathon surgery last month, the printed pelvic bone was inserted. So this here is the prosthesis. And a few weeks later, Janice was well enough to sit pain-free. I think she is absolutely amazing. Claudia de Bella's first patient to undergo the operation was Ian Heaver, who also had cancer of the pelvis in 2019. A third of my pelvic bone was going to disappear. For both Ian and Janice, Associate Professor de Bella also used 3D printed jigs to guide the precise incisions needed to initially remove their tumours and we can perform those cuts. So the tumour is removed in a safe way without leaving anything behind. After extraction of Ian's cancerous bone, his printed titanium prosthesis was inserted, fitting exactly into place. Then the prosthesis will fit exactly like a glove. First thing I did, I looked down to the leg and the leg was still there, so that was a bonus and, um, and I could wiggle my toes. Now Ian can still walk with just a limp. About at the six months mark, he was already walking, uh, playing golf. While Janice is still recovering here in St Vincent's private hospital, she should be able to stand and walk with help soon. Claudia de Bella's breakthrough work not only demonstrates the skill and creativity of her St Vincent's private hospital team, but the mind-boggling advancements of medical technology. Now we really can give solutions to patients that were unthinkable even just five years ago. Emily Rice, Nine News. Amazing, isn't it? All right, still to come.